Welcome to part two in the LSE Student Academic Mentor, otherwise known as SAM, online training. This series of short online training videos will give you all the preparation you need to start mentoring successfully. Please watch these training videos carefully in order, as there will be follow-up questions for you to answer to ensure you've listened to the advice. In part one, you were introduced to the fundamental principles of mentoring itself and mentoring at LSE. In part two, we'll be looking at your roles and responsibilities as a SAM and the commitments we expect you to make. We'll also look at group and individual mentoring and the importance of setting boundaries and managing any rare problems that may occur. Here is an outline of what we'll cover in part two. We'll look at your regular commitments, the amount of time SAM should take you, your department's expectations, the difference between opt-in and opt-out schemes at the departmental level and what that will mean for you, your department and welcome, the differences between individual and group mentoring, how to set boundaries, and what to do in the unlikely event of any problems. Let's start with your regular commitments. As a SAM, you will be assigned three or four mentees. Generally, life will inform you of your matches, but sometimes this may come from your department. For each term, we will send an activity log to you to fill out. You should return this at the end of the term. You should record the number of interactions and any relevant feedback, not the content of the discussions. This is for us to review so that we can see how many interactions have taken place and in what format. We also need this for your CPD UK certificate. Contact can take different forms and this is a positive thing. Try to find out what works for you and your mentees. Remember, everyone is different. So in your small group of mentees, they may have different preferences. Contact may be face to face, such as meeting on campus, in the library, a cafe, or maybe you have a departmental common room. You might choose to use social media like Facebook or WhatsApp. Lots of mentors have reported great successes with WhatsApp groups and often find that over time mentees end up supporting and answering each other's questions instead of the mentor having to step in all the time. You might choose to meet virtually face-to-face -face using Microsoft Teams or Zoom or just keeping to LSE contact and using the LSE email. Other regular commitments you have are to check your emails regularly. You may get your mentees all at once or you may get them gradually. When you are allocated mentees, please email them within three working days of receiving the email. You'll also get updates from me or the LSE Life team via email that may require responses. You're a volunteer. This isn't a job. So do just let us know if you need to stop or take a break or if there's ever any problems. Your studies come first. In order for us to evaluate and improve SAM, we will ask for feedback occasionally or we may periodically set up focus groups or short surveys. If you can find time to help with these or fill these out, this is always appreciated. There is also the activity log and reflection, more of which will be discussed in another video. It really helps us a lot to receive this, so do fill it in when you're asked. All feedback is taken on board and part of the reason SAMS continues to grow and be successful is thanks to the great suggestions we receive from mentors and mentees. Also, this log and reflection will enable us to submit your details to CPD UK and get the work you have done recognised more formally. If at any point you have other feedback or anything urgent, you can always reach us via the LSE Life inbox, LSE Life at lse.ac.uk. Please also try to keep an eye on your email for anything SAM related. We know you get a lot of messages, so we'll always try to make it clear when an email is SAM related and important to read. 
Okay, time commitments next. It is up to you as the Sam and your mentees to decide how often you wish to meet up and communicate, but these are general guidelines. Meetings should last between 30 minutes and one hour. Try to meet in person within two weeks of being matched, but this can be virtually if in person is not possible or is what you and your mentee prefer. And during your first meeting, try to establish your preferred mode of communication moving forward. After that first meeting, it's a good idea to meet or have a proper catch up two to three times a term. You may wish to meet your mentees individually or in a group. This is up to you and them. Communicate with your mentees every two weeks by email, text, WhatsApp, etc. This could just be a quick checking in, checking to see if everything is okay. Don't forget I'm here and I can help if needs be, that sort of message. Next, we'll look at mentoring in your department. Your department may well have specific expectations of how they'd like SAMs to work. This is because, while LNC Life coordinates the recruitment, training and general support of the SAMs, your departments own the SAMs. As you've probably found since you started at LSE, each department is very different, so we'll have slightly different needs and different student body. If they do have specific needs or would like you to get involved in different things if you're free, such as lunchtime, lunchtime meetups, then this will be communicated to you by your departments, not by LSE Life. So do make sure you check your emails. Do try to go to department of SAM meetings as well if these are arranged. Depending on the size of your department and the SAMs, your department may want individual mentoring where you have small groups of mentees, two to four, and see them separately. Group mentoring, where you have a large group of mentees, five to six, and see them as a group. Or mentoring in pairs, where you work with another SAM. You might also have mentoring in a house structure. Your mentees and you are all in the same house. Some departments use a house structure because it facilitates a supportive atmosphere by giving all members a common identifying factor. So let's look now at the difference between opt-in versus opt-out schemes. So what does this actually mean? Well, because SAM op operates differently in different departments, some departments may be opt-in or opt-out. An opt-in scheme equals potential mentees sign up to have a SAM and are allocated as they come forward. Opt-out means all first-year students are given a SAM and that they can then choose to engage with their SAM or not. Opt-out systems may mean SAMs have a large group of mentees to start with, but generally at least half of these mentees don't engage, and of that only three to four tend to contact regularly. So don't worry if you initially have a large number of mentees, but do always let us know if things become too much. It's always worth pointing out, even when students opt in, you may still find some never reply to your messages. This is unfortunate, but does still happen, so don't worry. Let's explain our three strikes system. When you make contact with your mentees, we operate a three strikes and you're out system. What does this actually mean? Well, you should contact your mentees when they are allocated. And if you get no reply, perhaps try again a few days later. And then if you still get no reply, try again a week after this. Copy me into that message and let the students know this is the last time you'll email. There's an email template on the Moodle page if you're not sure how to word this email. Don't be disheartened if this happens. Many students sign up for a mentor in a bit of a panic and then realise a few days later they don't actually want one, but are too afraid or shy to say so. This three strike system just allows you to discount them while knowing that you tried as best as you could to make contact. But also some mentees may simply not understand what the benefit will be for them, even though we and the department do try to make this as clear as possible. So try to be friendly, open and encouraging in your first contact 
and stress that this is something that's meant to be fun and helpful, not something to worry about getting right. Welcome is a unique time at LSE where SAMs have a great opportunity to make a real difference. Many departments have plans for their new first year students that they will ask mentors to support with. This is particularly important as it helps the new student feel welcome and is a great way to promote the help you can give. Again, it's very important to keep checking your emails as this is how your department will let you know how they might like you to help. If you're a little nervous about having these first conversations, don't forget we've put some additional advice on the Moodle page to help you feel less nervous and break the ice. So how will you be mentoring? Well, primarily you'll be mentoring a small group, but this does vary significantly in some departments, depending on the size of that department. Most mentors will have somewhere between two to 10 mentees, with the majority having three to four or five to six. Demand will vary from Michaelmas term to Lent term and from mentee to mentee. Some will just need a few chats and be fine. Some will need or want a regular catch up. Both of these models are to be expected and nothing to worry about. Don't be surprised if when it comes to Lent term, you find that your mentees are much less engaged. Normally, this is a great thing because it means that they have settled into life at LSE and feel that they no longer need your help. So please try not to take it personally. Most mentees and mentors prefer an individual chat, especially at first. So don't try to push group chats straight away. But some mentees may like to meet as a group. This has regularly come up in feedback from previous mentees. They would love a chance to be more sociable with students in their department, but are afraid to ask. As a mentor, you could maybe try to get your mentees together as a group or ask your mentees what they'd like to do and see if you can maybe have a group meeting with another SAMS group. There's additional information about this on the Moodle page in the training video, Managing a Group. Okay, setting boundaries next. Remember, this is a position of responsibility, but it's not a 24 seven, always on, always checking for email and messages service. You do not have to reply straight away. So set some boundaries with your mentees. Set early what your boundaries are with the mentees. By this, we mean not only preferred ways to contact, but also times of day, e.g. I'll get back to all messages or email once a week on Wednesday afternoon, or I'll reply on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or I won't check my WhatsApp after 10 p.m. local time, whatever is preferable to you. Inform your mentees in advance if you need to make changes to any agreed boundaries. This just helps you all to stay on the same page. Be clear how and when to contact you outside of an agreed meeting and try to keep to this. And when using social media, think about keeping your mentoring separate or what you are happy with your mentees seeing. Lastly, what to do if you experience any problems. Now problems are rare, but the most common tend to be getting mentees to reply, balancing mentoring with your studies, or occasionally a mentee that needs a lot of help. At any time, you can contact LSE Life if you are having problems. Please don't wait until the end of Lent term feedback. It is too late then for us to make things better. So please don't suffer in silence and drop us an email at the LSE Life inbox, LSE Life at lse.ac.uk. Okay, that's the end of part two.